In this video, we're going to learn how to remove the background using the Quick Select tool and then to add a mask and then smooth out the edges. So what you would need to do is open a picture of yourself, click on the Quick Select tool. You can adjust the size of the brush if it's not quite right. And I'll start dragging down the subject. Drag down the wing. Try not to get too close to the edge because you'll notice what happens if you do. And I'll try to bump this out a little bit further. Get down to the foot. And then to get really specific, you can zoom in by changing the percentage here or you can hit Control Plus on your keyboard to zoom in really far to fix things. I'm going to hold down Alt to deselect this wing over here that I don't want. So I'm just clicking and holding down Alt. I'm going to click over here, and again, if I can't get the edge of the beak perfectly, I can go up here, reduce the size of my brush, and I can even zoom in even further so that I can get that perfect. And again, my brush is still too large, so I'll reduce it even further. You can get every last little pixel, deselect the ones you didn't mean to. I can zoom back out. And once you believe you've fixed all of the errors, which I have not, you're going to use the mask over here on the right. I might have to zoom back in down here to see the feet and fix the feet. At this point, I'm going to go over here and click on this third button over. It's the mask, and it's going to remove the background. If you notice, you, I may have missed some right there that I could go back and fix or just take the eraser. Up here, you should see a Properties button. If you don't, just go to Window at the top and choose Properties. I'm going to click Mask Edge, and this is where you can kind of smooth out the edges and make it look even more professional. And You can mess with Feather and Contrast but definitely smooth out the edges. If you want to get a different look, you can place the subject on different backgrounds to see how it looks. Then when it's all done, you might want to grab your crop tool and just crop out the extra areas that you don't need in the picture anymore. And if you need to adjust the size of the picture, that's under Image, Image Size. So again, Image, Image Size. This is where you can adjust the size of the picture as needed. I recommend save, keeping the PSD version, that's the Photoshop version, so that you can work with that. And saving a PNG version, so that way you can have the transparent background. So instead of PSD, you would go down here and find PNG, and we'll save a second copy. And put that in the Images folder closest to your file, no capital letters. And that is how you remove a background. And then to add it to your other pictures, you just simply drag and drop it onto those other canvases.